Hey, Eli here. I want to give you a real quick rundown on the Mark One, uh, R5 Mark One versus the R5 Mark II in electronic versus first curtain. So what I did is I just used my 7200 and I set these cameras to 1000 ISO and I took a photo with the R5 and then I took two photos with the R5 II, one with electronic, the second one with electronic first curtain. Uh, a lot of questions about that. So these would be on my chest here, little post-its. Um, and then I used the remote control and 7200, like I said. Then I did a second photo where I underexposed, so I had to bring up the photo three stops, the raw file, to see what you know what happened to the file. And then I did one at 10,000 ISO in all three increments. So download these photos, jump in the comments, and let me know what you think. I'm gonna just run through these photos really quick, let you know what I think. Um, from just looking at them, they're like almost identical. Uh, <laughs> maybe like a slight edge better on the R5 II. Uh, and I, I really can't tell a big difference between all of them, uh, which is fine with me. Uh, I think that image quality is, is amazing these days. And so I'm not really concerned about a big increase. I'm more concerned about the ergonomics and the autofocus. And so I can always add light when I need it. So I'm not too concerned about that, but I just wanted to know, see what would happen. Uh, electronic uh, shutter I tried to like shake it as well and see if I get any like my light pulls to my light stands to warp couldn't do that uh, they didn't warp more so I just got motion blur and just maxed out on my shutter so I couldn't go any faster so yeah um, download these photos check them out I'm gonna run through them right now uh, I've got a wedding today so I'm really gonna put this through the test and see how they do but as I can tell now not a huge difference so let's look at the computer here and see, so I've put in um, multiple images because focus isn't perfect in low light. Um, so I took like three images with each setting. So that, uh, and I picked the best ones, just that I rated them three stars. Uh, I rated color coded the R51 red and the um, R52 blue. And then I time stamped them uh, with an app I use. So you'll see that photo in there where you can just sync them up perfectly because they always change. So let's look at these photos. First one here, we're going to look at the R5-1 versus the R5-2 in electronic shutter. Press C to compare. And then we zoom in, we'll see on my chest here what indicates the camera and settings. If we look here, man, it's hard to tell. I'm at 200%. Uh, going beyond that is probably not worth it. But, uh, man. Neck and neck, I think, I mean, it's maybe slightly better. You know, this is going to depend on your screen and your eyes. So it's kind of, I mean, somewhat subjective, but really just can't tell a big difference when I'm looking at it. And then if I go to electronic on the left, first curtain on the right, I press C. So my selected image on the left, you can see here, is... Double check this, electronic versus first curtain. And a lot of questions I've been asked about the bokeh. So you look and see for yourself. There's some green, obviously. Man, I don't know. And if we look at my eyes and my ear here, there's a good indicator. Yeah, I mean, shoot, I don't know. Um, Maybe the one on the right might just be a little better in focus, but there are multiple images to, to choose from to look through. So if that's a variable, you can check that out. All right, next up, we or I went and I did 10,000 ISO, or 1,000 ISO, and I brought these up one stop. Or, sorry, three stops. So you can see here, right, three stops, and then we're going to compare these two. So on the left, we have the original R5. On the right, we have the Mark II. And we're just going to see what happens to the file when we bring it up. I mean, maybe there's a little more detail around my ear here. So on the right, we have first curtain. I'm oh, sorry, electronic on the right. And then if we compare electronic versus electronic first curtain. And then we're going to go compare. And these are 1000 ISO brought up three stops. On the left, we have, let's just double check this, electronic. So here, here we look at my eye. 
it could be a slight edge for electronic first curtain but you all look at these and tell me what you think yeah it's hard to tell um, I don't know barely noticeable okay and then next up we're gonna look at 10,000 ISO so on the we have electronic on the right mark 2 on the left we have mark 1 10,000 ISO I have my um, light at like 1%, so we're really pushing for light here. Yeah, maybe a little more detail. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Well, let's look, compare these two. So on the right now we have the electronic first curtain on the Mark II. On the left, the original. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like they're neck and neck, identical almost. Um, you know, yeah, can't really tell. But maybe you can. So I would love to hear your opinions and what you think. But yeah, just trying to get some information out there for you. Uh, let you know whether or not you need to purchase these. Like I said in my previous video, I didn't really question it because I use the R5 so much. Like, I mean, I've, you know, you know multiple hundreds of thousands of images every year. And it's my workhorse, it's a great camera. Um, I've got a workflow for it and I'm really fast to edit. So I didn't question buying it when, you know, there's upgrades, um, you know, like the on off switch, the autofocus, um, there's just a lot of little things that added up for me that made me not question going to the next generation. Uh, I love Canon, Canon colors, Canon files are great. Um, everything else works as well. But for me, that's what I've been using for quite a while. And uh, yeah. Hopefully this is helpful, and again, hit those comments. Let me know what you think about those three different uh, settings. So, yep, take it easy.